Namaste, good morning, a very warm welcome to my channel Sunshine Tarot. Today's tarot reading is about Aquarius season, as in what you might expect or experience during this Aquarius season, which is from now until approximately the 20th of February 2022. Now, please remember that this is a very general reading, so only take what resonates, leave out what doesn't. If you would like more clarity into your situation and would like to purchase a tarot reading from me, you could get in touch with me on the contact numbers mentioned in the description box below. Now I've already drawn four cards. Let's see what's in store for us this season in various aspects of our lives. The first card is the Hermit. And this card represents the overall general theme of Aquarius season. The Hermit corresponds to the energy of Virgo and is a card of solitude, soul searching and spiritual enlightenment. So this card could mean a couple of things for you. For some of you, I feel that you will spend the next couple of days in solitude or by yourself in order to heal from a personal situation that has caused you a lot of hurt and upheaval. For some others, I feel that you know you will spend the next couple of days trying to figure out life in terms of you know what is your soul purpose or what is the purpose of your existence, um, you know what you need to do next, how you can make your life more mean meaningful, and such things. For a couple of others, I feel that you could be using this time by yourself or this sabbatical to do some studies and also to maybe turn more spiritual in your life. The lantern here represents knowledge or enlightenment. So basically this is a card of seeking enlightenment, seeking answers to questions that only you can answer, meaning the answers to your questions lie within yourself. The next card is the Six of Wands and this card represents your work, career and finances uh, for this Aquarius season. Now Six of Wands is a card of victory, achievement, success and recognition. So this is a very good card to get because it tells me that at work, for some of you, there could be a promotion or there could be some sort of you know, recognition, there could be some sort of achievement. Uh, for those of you who have little businesses or enterprises of your own, um, you know, you could see a spike in maybe sales or a spike in maybe customer response. I feel that you could also expect a lot of uh, positive feedback on social media. The next card is the Nine of Wands. And this card represents your emotions and relationships. The Nine of Wands is typically referred to as the wounded warrior. You can see here that this person looks wounded, has a bandage over his forehead, but hasn't given up yet. He looks weary but determined. Um, there could be a bit of struggle in the area of your relationships, um, you know, this month. And um, I feel that, you know, you have up until now faced a couple of challenges. And these challenges could be because of maybe a communication gap between you and your partner. It could be because of ego. It could also be because of, you know, third party situations or interference from others that has made your relationship um, a bit sour or um, you know because of which you're sort of on the edge but you haven't given up yet so basically this is going to be um, slightly stressful as far as your relationships and emotions are concerned the last card is a seven of swords and this card represents your health and well-being. Now this card tells me that 
if some of you have been feeling unwell and have gotten a clean shit from your doctor um, you may need to seek a second opinion or get a couple of more tests done because there could be something that has gone undetected or something that is still lingering so this is specifically for those people who have been feeling unwell or under the weather well that's all i have for today i wish you all a great day ahead and i hope this reading helps you that's all for now thank you for watching bye bye